If you've been watching the Detroit Lions recently, you know something special is happening. This team is playing at a level we haven't seen in over 60 years. To the house! Touchdown, Detroit Lions! How did the Lions go from being the worst franchise in the NFL? Rodgers gets it the other way, he's thrown down. We got a flag, the game's not over! Grabbed it by the face mask. To suddenly having their best season in decades. Back, wants to throw open. Look out there, wide open. I'm in Ross. Straight Brown. 10, 5, 8, no. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. Grab some Gatorade and let's dive into the story of the Lions' incredible turnaround. Hello and welcome to our channel. We know it may be hard to believe now, but the Lions were once the very definition of futility in professional sports. Think about it. To find the last time the Lions experienced success like this, we have to time travel back to the 1962 season. It was a magical year for the Lions as they finished with an impressive 11-3 record, just two games behind the eventual Super Bowl champions, the Green Bay Packers. The Lions were dominant that season, never trailing by more than seven points in any game. They ended the season on an incredible seven-game win streak to make the playoffs. The 1962 squad was led by quarterback Milt Plum, running backs Nick Pietrasante and Jim Brown, and standout defenders Dick Night Train Lane and Joe Schmidt. On Thanksgiving Day, the Lions cemented their legacy by beating the defending champion Packers 26-14 at home, preventing Green Bay from having a perfect season. Although we were not alive to witness it, hearing how the 62 Lions took down the mighty Packers on Turkey Day gives me chills. The uniforms look different, the helmets didn't have air holes, but make no mistake, the 1962 Detroit Lions restored the roar in a major way. It was a magical season fans would remember for decades. Little did they know the long winding road that lay ahead. So how did one of the least successful franchises in all of sports suddenly become the best? Let's take this journey together from start to finish, the incredible rise of the Detroit Lions. All right, before we get to the comeback, we've got to understand how low things got for the Lions. As we mentioned earlier, it doesn't get much worse than the 2008 season when Detroit went zero and 16. That year saw some truly terrible football and ESPN was questioning if the Lions were literally the worst team ever assembled. It's easy to just point and laugh at their futility, but we've got to realize, this really took an emotional toll on the players and fans. Imagine grinding through a four-month season without a single win? That 2008 team deserved better. Unfortunately, 0 and 16 was just the tip of the iceberg. The Lions sustained a run of horrible seasons throughout the late 2000s and 2010s. Who could forget their 2012 campaign when Calvin Johnson set the NFL record for receiving yards in a season? Yet the team still limped to a 4 and 12 record. Megatron in his prime deserved so much better. During these gloomy years, Lions fans remained loyal, even as their team served up comically bad losses on a weekly basis. We sat through humiliating blowouts on Thanksgiving when the Lions barely put up a fight. Year after year of top draft picks and hyped new coaches failed to yield any progress. At times, it truly felt hopeless, but the fans persevered. We powered through the heartbreaks and stuck with our squad, because that's what you do for your hometown team. And finally, after a decade of misery, a light appeared at the end of the tunnel. A fresh young coach, some new talent, and a renewed sense of optimism. The revival was about to begin. It may have looked bleak for years, but the early 2010s actually planted the seeds of the Lions' eventual turnaround. The hiring of head coach Matt Patricia in 2018 represented a major shift for the franchise. Sure, Patricia struggled at first and had two losing seasons to open his Lions tenure, but he needed time to instill his defense-first, team-first attitude. Patricia boldly ruffled some feathers by trading away superstar wideout Golden Tate during his first year with the team. It sent a clear message. No individual was bigger than the team. Patricia brought accountability and a culture change to a Lions locker room that sorely lacked discipline. More recently, the Lions have continued to draft well adding key players like wide receiver Eamon Ra St. Brown, cornerback Brian Branch, wide receiver Jamison Williams, and defensive end Aiden Hutchinson. 
These players have all shown the potential to be stars in the NFL, and they have helped to turn the Lions into a competitive team once again. For once, it actually seemed like this perennial loser had turned a corner. Could the Lions finally be building something special? Still, some doubts lingered heading into 2022. Were they ready to take the next step? Well, the front office doubled down that offseason by aggressively filling holes on the roster. Suddenly, this became a team stacked with talent. Surely the playoffs were within reach? After a dozen straight losing seasons, the Lions now felt primed to turn the page on their woeful past. But even in our wildest dreams, did anyone expect what came next? The glorious 2023 season that completed the Lions' fairy tale comeback. We all know that generation after generation of Lions fans have endured terrible football and disappointment, playoff heartbreak after heartbreak. It's been a long, bumpy ride for the dedicated fans who stuck with their squad through thick and thin. But all that changed when the 2023 season kicked off. The Lions stunned the NFL world by taking down the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs 21-20 in their opener. Currently, the Lions sit atop the NFC North at 8-2, four full games ahead of their arch-rival Packers. After starting last season 1-6, head coach Dan Campbell rallied the troops to win eight of their last 10. That momentum has carried over big time based on statement wins already against the Chiefs, Packers, and Buccaneers. Coach Campbell has this young Lions team believing in themselves. They play with a confidence we haven't seen from the Honolulu Blue and Silver in a long time. One thing is certain, these new era Lions never give up. No matter the score, they play with the heart of champions. The fans are back in full force. You can feel the electricity in the air. For the first time in franchise history, Detroit has sold out every single home game this season. Ford Field is absolutely rocking with energy like never before. But even more impressive is the show of force from Lions fans on the road. Like when Detroit marched into Lambeau Field, home turf of the Packers and arguably the NFL's biggest superfan base. Yet with the game on the line, Lions fans were roaring so loudly you could hear them over the Packers' home crowd. Just imagine that legendary stadium overtaken by Honolulu blue jerseys and let's go Lions chants reverberating through the walls. It gives me goosebumps. This level of fan domination at away games is unprecedented for Detroit. Having this 12th man support undoubtedly gives the Lions an edge over opponents especially in tough road environments like Green Bay and Tampa Bay. The future looks bright in the Motor City. Now the question on every Lions fan's mind, can they sustain this success? If the football gods allow the Lions to stay healthy and they maintain their elite level of play, we could see Detroit return to the playoffs for the first time since 2016. But this squad may even win their first playoff game since way back in 1991. After enduring terrible football for decades, Lions fans deserve this special season. It's our time to sit back, soak it all in, and savor every big win. Don't be shy, Detroit. Let those roars loose and restore the electricity. Our team is restoring the legendary roar once again. Maybe we are getting ahead of ourselves, but we can't help but feel optimistic about this team's future. There's something special brewing in the Motor City. These Lions play with a confidence and resilience we haven't seen in ages. With Coach Campbell at the helm changing the culture, the days of being the league's laughingstock appear to be behind us. The future looks bright for Lions football. And that wraps up this amazing underdog story of how the Detroit Lions went from 0 and 16 to playing at a level we have never seen. Hard to believe this once downtrodden franchise now sits atop the football world. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Your support really helps us make more great sports content. Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on the Lions' incredible turnaround. Where were you when they finally won it all? And what was your favorite part of this historic season?